Hey horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser of Mani G, and this time we're going to do another video tag. Yes, uh, this one is from my friend Lizzie from her channel Carnage Candy, and this is based upon my favorite supernatural creature, vampires. This is her tag, it's the vampire tag, yes. Now she has uh, eight questions in here, all based upon vampires. So, of course, I had to do this tag. No, I didn't get tagged in the video, but I love doing tag videos. And, of course, since this is based on vampires, I had to do it. So, Lizzie, this is my uh, vampire video tag. All right, question number one. What is your favorite vampire film and why? Well, that's a hard question because I have lots and lots of vampire uh, films. I love them. They're um, vampires are my favorite supernatural creature, uh, uh, so obviously I have a lot of love for vampire films. So I really had to search deep down as what is my favorite vampire film and why. And uh, I have to go all the way back to probably uh, Hammer's Prince of Darkness, starring Christopher Lee. Probably the reason why it was because of my first exposure into vampires. Yes, I did see Bela Lugosi and the Universal Monsters Dracula. And I love that one, but I really got immense and love vampires, mainly because of that movie and, of course, the great late Christopher Lee. Yes, <laughs> I truly love that picture and really a, a fan of... Oh, not fan of I say, really identifies Christopher Lee as uh, Dracula. And, uh, yes, even though Bela Lugosi really created the role. It was Christopher Lee that really uh, hit upon modern audiences at the time uh, with his performance as the Count. So obviously Dracula, Prince of Darkness was my favorite vampire film. Question two, are vampires better than werewolves? Now I probably explained this in the werewolf tag that I did for Queenie Todd. It depends upon what type of vampire and werewolves are you talking about. Now, if you're going to the old uh, mythos between both creatures, obviously vampires are more better than werewolves because normally werewolves can only transform on the full night of the moon for three nights, and they can and they will attack anybody, even vampires. But other than that, they're a typical normal human being, so obviously vampires would be better because they're always vampires. They are creatures of the night. Some actually command vamp uh, werewolves to do their bidding, uh, as in the Underworld series. But if you're talking about other type of mythos of werewolves, like the lichens in in the Underworld series, or you talk about the werewolves in the Howling, then those might be better because they can transform at any time they want to. But of course, <laughs> I gotta stick with my vampires. If I want to, be, if I want to be a supernatural creature, it would be a vampire. So obviously, vampires are going to be my choice for that question. Question number three: Who is the most brutal vampires in the film? Now, this is a very interesting question right here because I've seen vampires be very elegant, and they can also be very brutal. But I think the most brutalist vampires I've seen were the vampires in 30 Days of Night. Those vampires were vicious. They didn't care who they attacked. Uh, they have really, uh, really sharp rows of teeth. Their grin is very evil and creepy looking. They talk this weird type of language. None of them really talked human except Barlow. Uh, he talked somewhat uh, a human or actually spoke English. And uh, yeah, they were very vicious, and they killed without, and they killed without random, and they were quick and fast. So definitely, those vampires are the uh, are the most brutal vampires I've seen in uh, in film. So yeah, thirty uh, vampires in thirty days of night. <laughs> Question number four: Favorite vampire transformation? Now, vampires don't transform. Uh, uh, they transform is pretty easy, as uh, pretty easy. Uh, you know require that much to turn. Uh, they do it very fast, unlike werewolves. Uh, however, I think the best one, and I think the most sensual one, or even you can call it sexy if you want it, is the uh, vampire transformation in the film We Are the Night. I thought that was a very uh, nice way for uh, to do a different type of transformation in that particular film. So, uh, favorite vampire transformation is 
We are the night. Question number five. What is the silliest, worst vampire film you ever seen? Uh, this is simple, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have said this already. It's those goddamn vampires in Twilight. Stephanie Meyer should have her... Well, I'm not going to say that then. Stephanie Meyer, I don't know what she tried to create, but we all know vampires do not fucking sparkle in the sun. That is stupid. It is dumb. It is the most idiotic thing I ever heard of. She really killed the vampires in her movie. Now, I understand she was trying to reach a certain audience, and I have no problem with that. But she particularly, particularly destroyed the vampire mythos with that thing about vampires sparkling and... Oh, God. Ah, enough of that. Let's move on. Question number six. Best vampire comedy uh, parody. Uh, believe it or not, I'm actually going to go with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, it's obviously that jo when Josh Wheaton uh, approached, I forgot the studio that came up, uh, approached his idea about vamp Buffy the Vampire Slayer, that was not what he had in mind. What he had in mind was the TV show that later came on. That's what he actually had in mind. But they decided, hey, let's do a comedy instead. So, yeah, it was a nice comedy. I thought some parts of it were funny. Paul Rubens, who, who plays uh, one of the vampires, I thought he was pretty funny in that. Yeah. So, yeah, so definitely, actually, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I will choose that as a uh, best vampire comedy. Question number seven, uh, what was your first vampire film? Now, obviously, I stated that before when I answered my first question. No, it's not uh, Dracula, Prince of Darkness. No, the first vampire film I saw was obviously Bela Lugosi's Universal Monsters, Dracula. Yes, uh, he was elegant. He was fascinating. He really played the role just right, especially to how he talks. Uh, you know, he really, really uh, came on as Dracula. Uh, very fascinating film. Uh, really got me into uh, horror and the universe of monsters after I watched The Mummy. Uh, I became fascinated with more vampires because of Bela Lugosi's performance. So the first vampire film I saw was Universal Monsters, Dracula. Question number eight. And the final question. Who is your favorite? Who is your favorite vampires, real or fictional, or both? Well, I answered this question already. Obviously, the favorite vampire or vampire will always will be the late great Christopher Lee. He's one of the reasons why I love vampires. It's one of the reasons why I love uh, Dracula. I love all concepts of Dracula, whether it's him, uh, Gary Oldman. Um, I think Ben, I think Ben Cross, I can't believe whoever, some, some of the characters who have been Dracula uh, throughout the ages who have played the character. I even like Gerald Butler's performance as Dracula. I think it was Dracula 2000, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, so I love all aspects of Dracula. I even like the uh, that Vlad the, the Impaler. That's who uh, the Dracula, uh, that's the guy who's Dracula's based off on. I like his character. I like his Personal, his um, <clears throat> can't get my words together. <laughs> I like his story, and I see the reason why a lot of people have chose him to be a uh, part of Dracula's uh, mythos of uh, that damn player, paler. So I truly love uh, all aspects of Dracula, but obviously my favorite one will be the late great Christopher Lee as Count Dracula. Well, that's all the uh, questions I've had. I want to thank uh, Lizzie from Carnage Candy from uh, creating the vampire tag. <laughs> like I said, I really love vampires. No, normally at this point, I'm supposed to tag people at this point, but I'm just going to leave it to you. If you want to do the tag, you're more than welcome to do it. Just make sure that you please give credit to Lizzie. I'll leave her link down in the channel below. I'll also leave all the questions in the description box uh, for all the questions. So that way you can do the tag yourself. Like I said, please make sure you do get credit for uh, Lizzie Carnage Candy. Uh, that's her, her channel. It's called Carnage Candy. Well, that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share. I really appreciate it a lot. And it does help the channel out a lot, too. Uh, now, of course, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscriber button. And please, please, please hit that notification bell because YouTube is getting uh, annoyed about that. So that way, anytime I post something new, you actually will uh, see it come up. And that way you can also come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the Horror Miser Money G. And as always, all my social media links will be down at the description box below as well. 
Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Monty G. And always remember, horror rules.